he knew something wasn't right with this situation. He said, well, wait, hold on, hold on. What has this man done? Well, this man is innocent. He's Are you? Innocent. The king of the Jews. Now, see, they took offense to that. They said, well, wait, hold up. You're just a man. How you, how you my king? Because they didn't have revelation. In this hour, people will not believe in Jesus if they lack revelation. And so it's our prayer for those that don't know him. Before you even say a word, say, God, give me your spirit to release the revelation. Amen. Because if they can get revelation, they can get a hold of him. Amen. And this is why it's so hard to get into your Bible without revelation. You got to say, God, reveal your truth. God, will you jump off the page and shake me up? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So Paul, he asked him, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus, he doesn't fear. He says, yes, I am. He says, yes, I am the king. And in metal pieces and things attached to a long rope. And they begin to literally beat Jesus across the back, ripping his flesh. Come on now. I, I got to get there. I got to get graphic for you to, to remind you because every now and again we forget what he's done for us. Come on now. Every time the earth shake, it reminds me when he hung his head low and he said it is finished. And so everything I'm dealing with today, I don't have to continue to deal with because he said it's finished. Amen. Yeah. And every time the earth shakes, he said, listen, I'm soon to return. Did you know that when the earth shakes, it's a birth pain? Come on, some of you mothers, you know what it's like to be with, with two hours to delivery. You, you know how intense the pain is. And when it hits you, it catches you off guard. God says, I'm getting ready to give birth to the Savior. I'm coming back again. Look at somebody say, he's coming back again. Broke as a habit, I guess you back at it again. You need a yeah.